All right, so you can see thrust blocking essentially is putting a bunch of weight or something very wide and heavy at the end of an elbow. Uh, a T you would thrust block on both sides of the T so you don't get any lateral movement. And then you would put it behind the T. This is an elbow. Um, I don't want it to come off this way because it reduces down here. Uh, there used to be, uh, which I got the cap and the cap is just doing double duty. So I got a bunch of concrete. I like to stack my bags. Um, so they'll stagger. And then I'm using the rebar actually is pounded through to tie the bags together. Uh, they had a bunch of this blocks just behind and this is uh, maybe over necessary. For extra bonus points, you can put a loop of rebar in the concrete so you can pick up the bags later if you ever have to do a repair. Uh, thrust blocking. Basically, the weight of the water coming at 200 gallons a minute at 80 PSI can just hammer on the fittings and blow the fittings right off. Uh, also why you don't turn on valves right away.